In this video, I'll go over the shopping I did for a Costco meal prep. We prepared 96 marinara wraps and 96 basil egg McFins, and we streamed it on Twitch. We're at Costco, gonna get some meal prep shopping done, hoping to pay about one to two dollars a meal for the uh, basil egg McThins and the marinara wraps. Let's see how well we do. All right, we need 15 pounds for the chicken marinara wraps, so here are the fillets, it's a five fillets. These are about five and a half pounds each, so we're actually gonna have a little bit extra chicken, that's fine. A little extra protein. These meal preps never work out perfectly anyway, so always have a little bit. We always have a little bit different um, leftovers. It's never perfect, so we try. The basil pesto is a key ingredient in the basil McFins. It really tastes good mixed with a little bit of mayo, but it is very high calorie, so we'll try to use as little of it as we can. All right, so for the basil egg McFin muffins, I'm gonna get the reduced fat uh, Swiss cheese, and this is better macros. Uh, it doesn't taste as good, but this only comes in 40 slices. So since it's only 40 slices, I need to get, um, I'm probably gonna supplement that with some Tillamook medium cheddar, simply because this has got 52 slices. I'm not meal prepping alone. Connie and Kat will meal prep with me. So, uh, we'll get a mix. We'll get a mix. This will give us about how many uh, basil egg and thin muffins that we need. So we need a combination of both. The macros aren't as good for this one. That's okay. Sometimes you just want some flavor. Um, and Connie's not gonna care. She, she's fine with uh, the macros. She's actually bulking. I'm cutting. So, we'll get these both. So all the meal preps, I try to have it work well with Costco numbers. Uh, Costco usually sells things by the dozen or multiples of 12. So we got the meat here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get two packs of these because one pack is uh, 24 slices. So we're gonna get, uh, one pack has one times, uh, two times 24 I mean. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get, um, there's 48 in one of these uh, packs. So we're gonna just get, grab a total of four of these to get our, um, 96, or 96 to work out perfectly for all of the, um, for all of the basil egg big thin muffins. All right, we need about 28 cups for, of marinara sauce here for the meal prep, for the marinara wraps, but um, I, no, I wrote down the recipe originally for the Kirkland brand. This is not Kirkland brand, this is uh, Victoria organic sauce, and so, did some quick math, I need 28. This is, each one of these jars is five cups, so I'll just get three of them. We'll have a little extra, um, we'll have basically 30 cups of marinara sauce. It's better to have too much than too little. We'll just have a little bit of waste. We'll still save money this way. All right, for the marinara wraps, we're gonna get burrito tortillas. These are super calorie dense. The cheese and the tortillas are like, basically the worst offenders in the uh, marinara wraps. Each one of these, 300 calories. I wish I could find a lower calorie alternative for the wrap, but as it is right now, I'm still hunting for something that's cheap and available at Costco. So for the basil egg McThin muffins, uh, the recipe really just needs any kind of bread. Any kind of sandwich bread will work. We've got the 100 calorie uh, thin sandwiches. These are okay, they're pretty low calorie, but for only 30 more calories, we can get the, uh, the English muffins. And I think they taste a lot better, so we're just gonna go with that. And um, if I really wanted to cut every calorie, then I'd probably go with the sandwich thins. But sometimes they get soggy. Having the thick bread helps keep it, uh, when it, when it thaws from being frozen, it's not nearly as soggy with something thicker like this. So we'll toast it, it'll be dry, it'll turn out a lot better that way. So I found something interesting here. Costco Protein, uh, they're selling Optimum Nutrition. It is about $10 a pound. On is pretty good. It's a pretty good protein, but 10 bucks is very expensive. Just because it's at Costco, it does not mean that it's actually a good deal. 
You can buy uh, this online when it's on sale for like, I want to say like six bucks a pound, eight bucks a pound, but uh, not 10 bucks. And the same with Muscle Farm. Muscle Farm is actually a low quality protein. It has poor rankings on labdoor.com and it's still, even that is not that cheap. It's still about seven bucks a pound and Muscle Farm, it's all right, it's not even that good. And don't even get me started here on Cytosport. Way of is very status board doesn't have is a pretty low quality one, so we're not going to talk about that one. All in all, it costs about one dollar per wrap and one dollar per McThin. We stream the making of this meal prep, of course, on my Twitch channel. You can grab the recipes for the marinara wraps and McThin muffins from my website, tominationtime.com slash marinara wraps and tominationtime.com slash McThin muffins. It took the three of us about five hours to make the 192 meals. That includes the prep, cooking, wrapping, and cleaning too, of course. So think outside the box for meal prep. I like to keep it simple with tasty recipes that can be frozen. I make dozens at once of one recipe and freeze them. I try to keep at least a few different recipes stored up in my chest freezers so I can mix it up throughout the week. For more tips on diet, meal prep, or fitness, come by my Twitch channel when I'm live. I am streaming diet and fitness as a motivational Q&A talk show. So I will see you guys in the next stream.